Is there a porno version of Grease called Grease? <laughs> <laughs> or oil? Yeah. <laughs> Lube? Yeah. <laughs> It'd just be called Lube, right? No, yeah, probably The not. 50s movie and Lube yeah. 2. Actually, if there was a porno version, there'd be like, you know, in porn, porn you have like 20 sequels to each movie. You know, yeah. you've got like Taboo 76, and it's still like about incest. You know, yeah. you know what the Taboo is after the first 75 movies, and you're still watching it anyway. <laughs> because it's still the Taboo. You just yeah. gotta keep breaking the boundary slowly but surely. Like, is that like, mother, yeah. is that mother <laughs> going to sleep with her son? Gee, I don't know. I don't know. Tune in on Taboo 76 to find out. Yeah. Um, that's actually an interesting question, uh, a bit beside the point, but when did actually remakes of real movies in porn start to happen because they are a big thing nowadays and they used yeah. to be a, a big thing in, in the 90s in the already 80s, but they were still there was backside yeah. to the future and things like that <laughs> so um, backside to the future yeah, yeah. did they yeah. actually you know like do the backside thing and then go to the future or no, was it, was, it just it about was, it was sex it was a it was a for a porn movie i suppose it was a high budget but it was just a low budget video thing when um it was it, it was in the 1960s instead of the 1980s. That was it. I mean, somebody went because back. it would have been Bang. so cool if it was about you know people having sex and then then the act of having sex brings them <laughs> back to the future. No, not your now you gotta go though. 80 miles an hour <laughs> so you can. <laughs> Only part of you goes into the into the past or ah, the future. Right. Yeah. You know, true. Back true. Of the yeah, future. Yeah. But so I I don't know. I mean they must have been over oh, the 70s had flesh board and of course I mean so there were obviously oh, yeah, things yeah. like well, that. Yeah. I don't know when they started. I would imagine they started in the 70s when porn became more mainstream. I mean. Yeah, probably. Movies yeah. Had been yeah, made yeah. Bigger, but they bigger were production values. And yeah. So, yeah. So things like that. Yeah. What was that movie? No, the one with Matthew McConaughey like 15 years ago. The like the dragon thing. Oh yeah, 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 it's good. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. they were dormant for like 70,000. No. And it turns out that all mass extinctions in history were caused by the dragons. <laughs> no. So and and somebody woke one up. You know. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. thank God for Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. yeah, it had Christian Bale yeah. as well. Yeah. It was yeah. Christian Bale it, and, no. and, and... I haven't seen it since it came out. I saw it at the theater at like yeah. one in the afternoon. We were like four people in the yeah. movie theater <laughs> watching. You know, Matthew McConaughey, he's Texan like me. You know? Yeah, all right, you guys all right, stick together. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, his best movie still was uh, Dazed and Confused. I, I think, I love Dazed I haven't even seen that. Oh, it's, it's one of my favorite movies. No. And the reason it's one of my favorite movies is because, you know, I grew up in Houston in the 70s and early 80s, right? Days and Confused, it's graduation day, like, 1976. It's the last day of school in 1976, mm. high school. And it, I watched that movie, and I'm like, that is exactly what high school in Texas was like. It's, no. it's a perfect chronicle of, of what high school... If you want to know what my high school was like, watch Days and Confused. It was That's exactly really cool, like actually. that. That's yeah. really cool, yeah. Because it, does, no, it doesn't try to dress it up. Or, like, a lot of... It's, most high school movies, you watch, and you're like... Okay, especially it's, if they're starring Corey and Corey. Stocker, not, you know, Stocker Channing and... No. Yeah, they're like, you know, high school wasn't really like no, that. No, no. So, I remember in Dream a Little Dream, one of the Corey and Corey films, um, uh, Corey, uh, Corey Feldman swaps places, places with, uh, with Jason Robards. Who's a grumpy old man? No. And Jason Robards, but, and like when they go, in, they go into the SAT, which they call the SAT test, the T actually in SAT st <laughs> st stands for test. It's, so it's How not do you the make SAT that mistake as a screenwriter? And, oh it's an HIV and, virus all over again. <laughs> and, uh, and Corey Feldman, he, you know, he finishes it in like 10 minutes because yeah. he's a grown up, you know. And he says, oh, and I corrected some of the questions. No, you, it's, it's not something your teacher doesn't give you. Does, your teacher doesn't sit at home and write an SAT for you and you have to take it. It's a national thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. You don't correct the questions on the SAT test. <laughs> Yeah, nobody saw that. Nobody. Uh, it's like um, in the original Ocean's Eleven, right, from nineteen sixties, the Sinatra movie. Um, uh, one one of the guys, uh, his son, who's a teenager, who gives him an abacus for his birthday, right? And, oh yeah, it gives him an abacus, and the guy says, and he goes, "Look at this genuine Japanese abacus," and not a single person on the set actually corrected him. Said it's abacus. Actually, <laughs> actually. no one said. You're saying that wrong, you know. I like movies like that, but every time I watch that old Ocean's Eleven, I'm like... <laughs> Everybody had an off day. They were yeah. like, let it slide, let it genuine slide. Genuine Japanese <laughs> uh, Who says that? Uh, I don't remember which one of the guys it was. It's not one of the, it's not like Sammy or, or Frank. Uh, yeah, because you, you wouldn't want to correct Sinatra. You, no, but, you no, but <laughs> it's one of the other guys. that's just like a guy. Yeah. No, no. Maybe he was an extra from the mob. <laughs> yeah, everybody. <laughs> it's a bacus. Sure, sure, Dave. Everybody, it's a bacus from now on. So. 
Yeah. Yeah. My favorite line from from, from that movie, uh, from the original Ocean's Eleven, which is so totally different from the other, the newer ones. I like them both. Yeah. Yeah. But but is uh, when I think it might be the same guy. When he's the guy that gets the heart problem, he goes to the doctor and he says to him, "Give it to me straight, Doc. Is it the big casino?" <laughs> 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 which is a genius line. What's that? Give it to me straight. Is it the big casino? There is a there was a Stockholm band actually that was called the Big Casino because of that that yeah. that line. That's really Give cool. it to me straight, Doc. I gotta say that to a doctor. <laughs> yeah. one day. Well, a couple of years ago, I was ac actually had a, a liver problem, which was unalcoholic related, which surprised everyone. Um, and I never said that because I was really sick and I was yeah. worried that I might actually be dying, and I wasn't. But I, I didn't say to the doctor, "Give it to me straight, doc." Is it the, I should have said, "Oh, um, doctor, uh, it 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 is it is a casino." <laughs> <laughs>Hey, uh, speaking of space, did, what did you guys think? I know this is off topic. What do you guys think of the new Star Trek new season, The Discovery? Have you guys watched Star Trek Discovery? I, I haven't seen it's it. It's really, I've, really good. Yeah, I've heard. It? The I've first heard episode it. I watched, my my friend Andy said, "Oh, you're gonna, it's the best." I watched the first one. I'm like, "That's all right." And the second one, I'm like, "It's pretty." By the third or fourth one, I'm like, "This is fantastic. It's really good. It's a really, it. really yeah. good yeah. series." Yeah, because yeah. yeah, I've I've always been more of a Trekkie than a Star Wars fan. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I haven't watched all of them, and I'm not that huge a fan, but, but there was something about Star Trek that, that appealed to me more than Star Wars, so, even okay. in the beginning. So, I could separate yeah. them. I mean, yeah. I loved when STTNG came out in like 89 and stuff yeah. when I was living in South Carolina. I, that first season of The Next Generation, I think, is great. Yeah. I was so happy that it didn't suck, because yeah. you know, it would have mm. been really easy to make it suck. Yeah. You know, I sense anger. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Discovery. Yeah. I totally recommend Discovery. It's really, it's really good. Yeah. What do you think about the new Star Trek movies? The oh, I, I enjoy them. Well, we had a discussion. You didn't like uh, the one with uh, Khan with Cumberbatch as no, the Khan. No, actually, I, 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 I know that a lot of people dislike it a lot. And I, I enjoy that. Movie. Yeah, I that yeah. I, I, I don't dislike. I, I own it. I, I don't dislike it. I just thought that it's very, very hard to compete with. Uh, with the original Khan. Sure, yeah, I haven't okay, seen yeah. the original, and I no, thought it was sure. like a really uh, cool character, the Khan character. Yeah. It's a bit silly at points, but it's yeah, like... The original is very hammy. Yeah, I mean, sure. he's, he's really... Ricardo, Ricardo Montalban, Montalban there, is, yeah. uh, but, but, but he is he's actually a really classic villain. He's a, he's a really good classic villain. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, because yeah. he's so over the top. Mm. I love I, 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 think, I think that if you can sort of withstand the the, the the fact that that it's it's quite an old movie and it has some hammy things in it uh if you like star trek i i definitely recommend watching the original wrath of khan because it's yeah. it, it 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 has really classic moments within it i've done far worse than kill you i've hurt you and i wish to go on hurting I shall leave you as you left me, as you left her, marooned for all eternity in the center of a dead planet, buried alive, buried alive. But what it does not have is the best scene in cinematic history, which is in Star Trek, what's the name? The second new Star Trek, what's the, does it have like a second name to it? It was was it into darkness or into darkness? darkness? Yeah, yeah into darkness. Yeah. 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 Okay. When the, the when the general the general that is played by RoboCop, oh yeah, we yeah. see yeah. his room. Peter Weller, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, he and has the, Bucker and Bob. <laughs> <laughs> he has all these models for spaceships, and he has a model for this huge warship also there in the room. Yeah. It's it's insane. This is the secret warship that you're building. <laughs> Away from <laughs> all the Federation or laws, <laughs> and you have a model. model. Yeah. And That's it's like, great. oh That's my god. <laughs> no, that um, the the new con, you know, my ex girlfriend Linnea, who you know yes. and stuff, never, she never watched any Star Trek mm -hmm. movies or TV. She was never a sci fi thing or anything. And I took her to that Star Trek movie, and she really, I think that was a very good movie for people mm -hmm. who are not Trekkies, because yeah. she really enjoyed that and stuff. And she'd seen the Into she Darkness, yeah, yeah. yeah, the the con, the one with con, whatever. Yeah, yeah, Into yeah. Darkness. Yeah. Yeah. And then after that, she saw the one before it and didn't like that at all as much. 
which I thought was better, of course. But um, yeah. but uh, I think it's a re- I think Into Dark is a really good one for people that don't aren't yeah. familiar yeah. with Star yeah. Trek. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. A lot of the most of the people who had problems with it were fans of the original Wrath okay. of Khan, and then they they just com- started to oh, compare. I love Ricardo compared, You know, my Montalban. Uh, Saturday Night Live in like the late seventies or something. They had one of their you know comedy sketches was uh, it was called it was a Mexican a Mexican game show and it was called Guinness Mas Macho who is more macho and, they, and Bill Murray was the host and they have the people there he's like oh Guinness Mas Macho Fernando Lamas or Ricardo Montalban Lamas or Montalban and someone goes ah uh, creo que uh, Fernando Lamas es más macho and oy, oy, oy. Uh, 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 Ricardo Montalban is un poquito más macho. <laughs> <laughs> Fernando Lamas is really good. ¿Quién es más macho? Lamas o Montalban? <laughs> yeah. Lorenzo Lamas was on, also in Greece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Small yeah. role. That's, uh, yeah. I mean, and you, you gotta feel bad for his character in Greece because they treat him really badly and he didn't, des- he didn't do it. He's not a dick. He's yeah, not like an talk. asshole. Like every, talk. Yeah, but so, I mean, but, you know, John Travolta wins a letter. So he letters in track, as yeah. it turns out. You know, he tries all the sports, so he does get his letter. And when he, when he shows, when he turns up at the big, you know, school pe- party at the end, the other T-Birds are surprised. He's, he's like, yo, I was letter. I'm like, how did they not know? Aren't these guys supposed to be your best friends? You've been yeah. running track for like four months. You didn't tell any of your friends, you know? Well, it was a secret. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, I think Lamas really gets the shaft in Greece. He, he, <laughs> that's a character that gets... And, and you, he's gotten the shaft in a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, you think he's a jerk, but when you watch it again, he's not actually a jerk. He's just yeah. a poor guy who's a victim of circumstance, yeah. who just meets a girl that he, he's willing to accept Sandy exactly as she is, yeah. you know? Yeah. And that's God, a shame, you know? Shitty morals in yeah, that. Yeah, it's movie. really it's terrible, terrible morals yeah. in that. He, the one person who accepts <laughs> her, who takes Sandy for who she is and says, I like her just the way she is, don't go changing, that's the guy that gets the shaft. Yeah. My God. Yeah. What are they teaching kids? We, we, I think we've all learned Back something. Back then. <laughs> I think so. Yeah.